old cheap wooden driver versus new expensive 2019 driver with the addition of both the golf balls Dunlop 65 versus brand new Pro V1. Guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Simon down here at Burford Golf Lab. And as I say, I'm going to be using my granddad's driver, one wood, against Callaway Epic Flash. And what I'm going to do is test them, basically with the balls that would have been around similar era, obviously 2019 Pro V1 for this, and then obviously a Dunlop 65 for this. See exactly how far they're going, because I read some very interesting articles, which I'm going to share with you now. So, interestingly nowadays, 300 plus yards on tour is the norm but is that down to club or is that down to ball and that's something that we're going to be looking at today in an article lee Cravino said that if the new ball had been around his time that on average a lot of the players even with the equipment that they had they would be hitting 300 yard drives and jack nicholas would be hitting 360. And in my last video that I did with the old club, and we obviously, a lot of you put comments on how far Jack Nicklaus actually hit the golf ball, or how fast he swung the golf club. And obviously I knew how good of a player he was, but I didn't realize actually how hard the man hit a ball. In a long drive competition, in 1963, he hit a ball 343 yards. And even if that was with wind assisting with the equipment and the ball that he was using, that is fast. Another interesting fact is Fred Couples back in 1982, when he was 22 years of age, he actually was averaging 268 yards on tour. Then in 2009, when he was about 48 years of age, all of a sudden gained 30 yards. He was now hitting the ball 298 yards on average. And the question is, was it the driver or was it the ball that was making a big difference? Jack Nicholas has stated that the ball is the main change in the game and why we're hitting the ball so much further now. Back in 2000, when the new Titleist Pro V1 came out, very similar to the ball that we're using nowadays, every player gains 10 to 15 yards with their irons, which basically means they were able to cut down courses and you look out on tour now par fives par fours are easily getting longer and longer whereas back in the day par threes were maximum about 150 yards and you're looking at par fives maximum 480 whereas now 600 yards is definitely around the average for par fives as well as par fours even going up to 500 yards just to test the better players so Jack Nicklaus definitely stated slow play is down to how far the ball goes now. And I want to ask you guys, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you think that the um, uh, PGA should put a ban and a limit on how far a ball can actually go? And then it means that courses don't have to necessarily be as long or as difficult. But then at the same time, it means for amateurs like ourselves, we're going to be losing a lot of distance very quickly. Now, the last big change apart from the ball is obviously the equipment that we use now. This is a lot shorter than this, so a longer driver shaft is going to equal club head speed, as well as this is graphite, a lot lighter. This is a lot heavier. So in recent studies and articles, people that swing on this is going to be about 10 to 12 miles an hour slower than this. And Tom Mission states that for every club mile power speed or club head speed, you're going to be getting 2.8 yards a carry. So between these two, obviously, it's going to be an unfair test. However... What I want to see is the dramatic increase or decrease of both hitting these and then swapping the ball over and seeing which one gains a lot more and which one's obviously going to reduce the distance a lot more. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Simon. I'm trying to do long drive next year. Please subscribe if you like the video. Leave a like if you like the video and let's get straight into it. So five shots with each combination. So obviously old driver, old ball, new driver, new ball vice versa um, i hit five shots in a row with each um, club and ball to try and give myself uh, not only a test of how far each ball's going but as well obviously um, how forgiving and how well each shot or each shot combination went as well so first up obviously the old driver and old ball this is probably comparable with 60 years ago how the ball would have gone um, i imagine my club head speed but this is probably about 120 something like that um uh, and yeah it was interesting in terms of, i was actually impressed at how high the ball speed was um, and you'll see the combination when i use the pro v1 there wasn't actually that much increase in ball speed however there is um a certain link between all of these where the spin rate is a big key big factor in terms of why the ball goes a lot further 
than it used to. So you'll see that's basically my shot and my shot dispersion with the old driver and that old golf ball. Obviously, I'm not the most accurate player in the world. So this is now obviously me hitting um, uh, uh, the old driver with the Pro V1 and um, I hit some pretty awful shots and each time I put the Pro V1 in the bag the shots were actually worse off because the spin rate for me was a lot lower so your bad shots are going to just go um, further offline however when I did catch it because the spin rate was lower and I was still getting that launch it not only went on carried further but actually when it hit the ground as well it went a lot further as well so I got up to 294 295 with the Pro V1, um, added distance about 20 yards compared to obviously the old golf ball, even though, um, as you'll see, and you look at the stats in a minute, the ball speed wasn't actually that much higher. So to say that instantly when people put the Pro V1 back in the bag in 2000, um, uh, you can see why the ball was going that much further. Again, dispersion wasn't great, but if you look at here, especially at shot number seven with the Pro V1, that was obviously 164, the highest one. But in terms of the furthest ball, it was actually the 161. So I show you two shots here now. So this is obviously the one, the um, Dunlop 65, so 160 ball speed, but it went to about 260 because that spin rate's so high. And then 161 ball speed, but because that spin rate's a lot lower, you're getting another 30 to 35 yards more distance overall. So obviously that's the old driver. Now going on to the Callaway um, Epic Flash. Now I think the best shot I hit with this was probably straight off the bat with it. Um, and you can see easily how much further the ball's carrying. So ball speed's already jumped up. So there's no question about it. Technology, lighter shafts. I imagine I'm probably swinging this faster because it's a lighter driver, so I'm able to get after it. I wasn't trying to max out each one, by the way. Um, I was just trying to give myself like a normal playing swing, if that makes sense at all. Um, trying to basically be as consistent for me as I possibly could. So again, you're, these are all now, this is with the old ball going 300 plus yards. So it would have been interesting back in the day, especially your big hitters. It was interesting. I read an article on Bobby Jones, amateur. They worked out just by video analysis that his club SB was about 117. And that's with like hickory shafts. So you imagine how far they would hit the balls if they had today's technology. And even though a lot of the pros obviously in the gym and everything else like that, the equipment's made a big difference and keeping that spin rate down especially with drivers nowadays makes the ball go so much further but if you don't hit a good one it obviously goes a lot further offline so now this is the ultimate combination 2019 callaway epic flash with the pro v1 and these ones are bounding easily past 300 plus yards and again when you look at the stats in the minute ball speeds up obviously because you've got the new driver but spin rate is down even at these high ball speeds um, and that is why you're just getting so much more distance obviously um, uh, the dispersion is a bit all over the place but you'll see that with the graph now so a bit tighter with the dunlop 65 easily further with the pro v1 combination and you look at the stats here average um Ball, uh, backspin with probably one two and a half which is probably about right for a driver and then 3000 some high 3000s up there with the um, Dunlop 65 and then I'll show you the comparison now in terms of how far these shots are going with um, uh, the Callaway Epic and the Dunlop 65 so ball speed here even with the Dunlop 65 175 which is actually really high so ball speed necessarily with a driver or today's driver hasn't gone up that much 179 with the Pro V1, but that spin rate so much lower, so the ball goes so much further. And I've compared basically there, you've got shot number six here um, against the first one. So basically, you're gaining about 20 miles an hour ball speed in terms of equipment for ball and then driver. Um, and then as well as the backspin again coming down and you can see the yardage difference 259 in terms of carry with the Dunlop 65 and the old driver and then 313 carry with the Epic Flash and the Pro V1. So basically that rounds it up. It's the combination between the both, but there's no question if the old pros, your Nicholas, your Sam Sneed and that lot had this kind of technology, they would have easily been hitting it out there 30%, 35% further than they used to guys there you have it i hope you enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts on what you saw in terms of the changes and obviously how much further the ball goes with the added technology i wouldn't say just one or the other but the combination of the both in terms of how far the ball goes obviously slow play on tour is a big thing however by minimizing how far the ball can go and obviously your bad shots not being as bad for example would that be a big difference would we like to see the change obviously for us guys 
it potentially means the rounds that we play nowadays would be a lot quicker because the bad mistakes just aren't as bad, which wouldn't be that bad for myself. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching. As always, leave this video a like. Catch you guys later.